welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on an overhead mount uh, for taping your YouTube videos. I looked into a couple different ones. On the cheaper end there was one uh, that clamped to the side of your desk and then came up and over uh, for about $30. And I did consider that one, um, but I do a couple different things and I wanted something a little bit more versatile. Um, that I could use as to overhead film when I'm doing watercolors here at my desk. But I also do oil paintings that are on an upright canvas. And I also do unboxing videos. And I also sing and play keyboard. Uh, so I, I wanted something that I might be able to use for all of that. So I found, this is from Archon Mounts. And it is a three in one bundle and includes the phone stand, uh, an LED ring light that goes right on to your phone, and also a tablet clamp mount, uh, which I really liked because a lot of times when I'm doing watercolors I am following tutorials and watch those on my iPad. So on this mount you can actually mount your iPad on there. Uh, so I really like that. I went on to uh, the website for Archon Mounts, and this was listed for $139, I believe. $139, I believe. I ordered this one from bhphoto.com. Uh, I've ordered things from them before, and I really like them as a company, and they actually had it listed for $10 cheaper, so it was $129 um, and free shipping. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Here's our box. Let me open it up. And here is what it looks like inside. All right, I have not taken this out yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put it together and see what we got. Okay, so the setup was fairly simple. Um, the instructions here, I love when they have pictures. <laughs> um, pretty straightforward, was able to follow it fairly easily. I did not attach the iPad mount um, just yet. Just gonna kind of go over the basics of this. Uh, so as I was taking the pieces out of the box, uh, the first thing I noticed was how heavy this this base part is um, when I took like this this got some decent weight to it which is good because you don't want it tipping over okay so you have the base unit uh, which is pretty pretty hefty there and then you have your telescoping pole here um, so at this height from here just to the top of this here we're at about 17 and a half inches and then um, in the middle here, if you just loosen this part, you have a decent amount more. You can go higher there. And then you can retighten that. Uh, so if you need it to be up at a higher, I know you can't see all of that, but let me do the same measurement. And that's at about 27 and a half inches there. So here's the base. And then there is how tall that, that makes it. So then uh, we have these ball and socket joints. And these pretty much all work the same way here. Um, so this in the beginning they had you loosen this so that you could attach this piece here you loosen it just enough that you can get that ball to fit in there and then 
you just tighten it back up. All right. And then so these three pieces here all pretty much work um, the same with that ball and socket joint. So here, if I loosen this here, turn it that way so you can see the ball in there. So if I loosen that, that's going to loosen this clamp here on both sides. All right, so that it opens up there so you can take that completely off of there. Um, and then you just you can clamp it right back on. But that gives you um, movement. Here, let me take this. There we go. This is what I want. I want to... So if I want to do a straight across for an overhead mount. Alright, so I put that coming out this way. And I'm going to take this, which is loosened up now. Attach that right back onto there. <laughs> so we're going to take our other piece here and also put it in there. Because when I tighten it, it's going to tighten both this side and this side at the same time. It's just going to clamp these two pieces together. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to hold that in there and tighten the clamp. There we go. So this is attached on there again. Now, I want, uh, oh, let's see, I have to loosen it again. I need that right there. There we go. All right. Now if I want to straighten this one out a little bit more, uh, let's see, I can loosen it. This one. There we go, and just move that like that. I love the versatility of this. Um, you can bend these and put these at any angle uh, you want, which I think is going to be really cool and super helpful for the different crafts that I do. Um, if you do more than one thing or need this for more than one, one project or what you're trying to tape or film, uh, I, I think this will probably hit hit the mark on them all. So then at the end here, okay, <laughs> I was trying to figure out if I want to do the overhead, I need this facing down. Um, so for that, I'm going to loosen this and I'm going to turn that like that so that this ball joint can go straight down like that. And I'm going to tighten it just like that. There we go. I want it right there. Perfect. Okay. So now uh, this is exactly how I would use it for an overhead view to film. Um, and I show you, you can then raise this or lower this depending how high above uh, your workstation you want it. So over the next couple days, um, I'm actually going to use this in a couple different uh, ways. I want to try using it in the to film overhead and I can show you how uh, how that looks. Um, and like I said, a couple different other projects. Before I was using, I had a, it's actually what my phone is on now, just a really, really small tripod. And what I would do is I would uh, lay it flat and then tape it to a box here on the side so it would extend outward and then film down at what I was looking at. And it, it worked. I mean, you use what you have. Um, but if you're looking to upgrade, um, this might be an option for you. So let's see how it works. So here's the ring light uh, that came with it that you can put on right on your cell phone. Uh, so this here, it's a clip. So we'll clip right on your phone and then that white button right there. There's three different settings. Kind of hard to tell there, but it goes through the three and then back off. You can recharge it. It has this nice blue um, velvet pouch with it. 
Uh, there's some information on it. Continuous light at full power. Looks like 45 minutes. Okay, so this is what I meant by wanting something uh, versatile and why I didn't necessarily go with the one that clamped onto the side of your desk. Um, so here I brought it downstairs and I'm going to try to film. Um, I'm gonna try two different things. So this one here, I have it set up. I do have it extended. Then I have it coming out and I have it set up. So I'm gonna try for, you know, this kind of angle down so you can see the keys. Um, and then after that one, I'm going to try to kind of move this over more so it's more of an overhead. Um, so maybe if you're teaching somebody lessons online, you can just be shooting, you know, from straight overhead to show what you're doing down here. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. to put the mount up on uh, some boxes and do an overview of the entire room. Okay, so here's another use that I wanted to um, try and use this mount for, for filming. So here I have the mount over here. Um, I have it extended and it's sitting on top of this table here. Um, and I have it set up so that um, I can put my phone in there and it's going to be looking directly at where I'm painting. Um, and I wanted to use that to try and do, um, just have it set up and run as time lapse as I was painting. Um, and it actually worked out perfectly. <laughs> thing I want to mention so the mount came with um, an iPad clamp which I, I did put together and what I was curious about was did the iPad clamp work anywhere else or was it only made to fit to this because um, as you can see it wouldn't do me any good since the clamp is or the the mount is behind me as I'm painting but I do very often have either a tutorial or a lesson um, playing on my iPad that I'm following as I'm painting. So I was super, super excited to find that this clamp, which I have over here, um, also fits on my sunlight that I have, or my sun lamp that I have over my painting. Um, so this clamp, even though this is thinner, than what this mount is, it still works perfectly. As you can see, it, it clamps down and then you can tighten it um, or loosen it for any width of pole that you wanna put it on. Um, so here is the iPad clamp that I was able to use separately from the mount um, and it worked awesome. So I was super excited about that. Okay, so here is the overhead view, um, which I like a lot. You can see what you're doing. Uh, you can see the base of the stand out of the corner here, but this is very adjustable. So I can just um, kind of inch it out more to put it at a little bit more of an angle and it's still a very good overhead view. Uh, to show what you're doing. And I think I cut out most of the base there. Um, so yeah, I still really like it. I'll show, um, I'll do an actual painting here, but actually I'm gonna be doing a much smaller one.
I'm going to try to use the mount, the overhead mount, uh, to do an epoxy resin agate slice uh, project here. Um, but I just have it set up. Um, the iPad clip is on there, but I won't be, be using it or needing it for this. I just have it set up straight across overhead view, and we will see how it looks. Okay, quick update before we get started. I went ahead and I raised... Uh, this a little bit higher, which was super simple to do uh, just because I'm using a little bit of a bigger workspace uh, by lifting it higher um, You'll be able to see <clears throat> see me more of what I'm doing Oh, and I just realized why when I did the watercolor uh, Why you can see the bottom stand in the overhead view but this one you couldn't. I was trying to figure out what the difference was. The difference was on this project, I have the mount in front of me. Um, so I have this this way because the phone is going to go this way longwise. When I was over at my desk, I was working and I had this to the left of me coming over top. So this was this way and the phone was this way. So it, since it was longer this way, it was catching this. If you have the mount in front of you, and this is this way, so your phone is long this way, it does not catch the bottom stand. So that is good to know. Oh, and also, this doesn't tip when it's this way. It's only when the phone is long this way, I guess it puts more, just enough weight on this side to pull it. So that is good to know. It does not fall forwards. Uh, when you have the mountain in front of you, just from the side, and you have the phone going the other way. So final thoughts. I love this. I think this is one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. Um, so here is what the box looks like. Archon mounts. Remarkable Creators 3-in-1 bundle. Um, you can get it on their website. I had gotten mine on B&H Photo. I love that it's simple. It's not complicated. It's very sturdy. I love the uh, the ring light that comes with it. I love the iPad mount that comes with it um, and it just works with every single thing that I wanted to do with it. So I hope this was helpful for you and you can see if this um, is a product that might work well for you. Thanks for watching.